Welcome to MCS Homestead. Follow along with us as we build our barnuminium. Welcome back to MCS Homestead. I'm Mark. My wife carries behind the camera and today we're going to clean this up. All right, that's it. Um, cleaned up that fast. It was going to take us but a few seconds. But uh, I believe it's looking pretty good. Starting to really start to look like a yard now. All right, today we're going to burn this little burn pile here and uh, See if we can't get it all burned up today. It ain't very big. All right, we got her started up. I'm gonna try to hit some other spots through this whole thing so it all burns up evenly. This burn pile got a little large on me. I didn't really mean for it to get so big, but oh well, let's uh, get her lit up and on fire. Just in case anybody's wondering, this stuff right here makes a really good fire starter. And I just have a little blowtorch uh, lighter lighting all this up. All right, everybody, the, the big burn fire, burn pile is uh, burning so fast that we decided we're going to go ahead and um, burn this second one. And I've got to get my big cedar logs out of here that we've got some stuff for later on. So I'm going to move them out of the way and we're going to light this up. Be careful to go pretty slow with this log. It's pretty heavy, and I don't want to flip the front of the bobcat over again. Uh, that's a little bit uh, scary when you do that. Man, the heat coming off of both of them burn piles was just amazing. It was uh, like standing in an oven right there. Also, on this next video, I 
left the bobcat running i just wanted everybody to hear how good the bobcat's running now and um i've really uh brought it a long ways Oh yeah, old Bobby the Bobcat. She's running like a sewing machine now, doing a lot better. I uh, finally figured out part of the overheating and issues were that it was um, it was running way too lean. I, I richened up the carburetor. It's running a lot better now, and um, hopefully we'll be able to get a few more years out of old Bobby there. It's uh, really doing good now. Well, that ain't too bad for old 1977 Bobcat running there, is it? We uh, had to do a little little maintenance on it, a little TLC, but I believe we've about got it running right now. It's uh, it's doing pretty good. I tell you, that uh, if anybody's still on the fence, if they're watching this video about getting one of them grappler arms uh, buckets right there, uh, I'd just go ahead and get one because... Man, that thing is a time saver, especially moving all these logs and limbs. It just makes it a heck of a lot easier to pick that stuff up. And you can just run in there and grab them. Just makes it makes a life a lot easier. It's uh makes it a whole lot easier. But it, I would hate to know I was trying to do this with uh, just a regular bucket or trying to chain pull all this.
All right, everybody, I was running around trying to push them um, logs into the fire, and I found a stump by accident over here and hit my head pretty good. Yeah, I hit that stump so hard it killed the bobcat and everything and it, uh, my head hit the dash. It was uh, not too fun. All right, that's all we're going to have for this week. If, if y'all are having a hard time hearing me, our mics have quit working during us shooting this. So hopefully y'all be able to hear me. Um, we got the burn piles done. That's all we're going to have for this week. If you would, please give me a like and a subscribe. It's completely free. It costs you nothing. It just helps promote our videos and um, it'll be able to keep us making uh, good content like this. So thanks for watching and y'all have a great day.